A local judge in Tennessee refused to grant a divorce to a straight married couple, citing gay marriage as the reason why. It's at the point where the far right doesn't even try to make sense. <laughs> they don't even try to make sense. Like, I don't know, you allowed gays to get married, so let's not allow divorces. <laughs> However, they, like, they're trying to just disrupt the system as much as possible now because they think the system is illegitimate because we are now allowing gay people to get married. They're like children, spoiled children. All right, Raw Story reports the following. Hamilton County Chancellor Jeffrey Atherton denied the divorce petition last week, saying that the Supreme Court decision on same-sex marriage made it impossible for the state of Tennessee to determine what constitutes divorce. Oh, I see what angle they're coming from. In fact, here's what he said. Quote, with the U.S. Supreme Court having defined uh, what must be recognized as a marriage, it would appear that Tennessee's judiciary must now await the decision of the U.S. Supreme Court as to what is not a marriage, or better stated, when a marriage is no longer a marriage. So do you see what he's doing there? He thinks it's a gotcha moment. He's like, well, you know, the states can't determine what kind of marriage they want no more, so I guess we can't determine whether or not we allow divorce no more neither. <laughs> yeah, I got him. I got him, Paul. You think, that's a, you think this is a winning argument? You think this is intelligent? You think this is a gotcha moment? It makes you look like an idiot. Because he's saying, oh, the, the big bad federal government, the big bad Supreme Court told us in our state we can't ban gay marriages, so I guess all of our authority must be turned over to the federal government, and who am I to grant you a divorce? Go ask the feds for a divorce. There's only one problem with what you're saying, slapstick. The federal government is okay with divorce. It already exists. They already accept it. It's a settled fucking issue. So he's just bringing up old shit to be like, Ah, now I can't make a decision because of the gays. Why not go a step further, man? Next time somebody comes, a black and white couple, and they want to get married, you want to play this game? Play this game, dog. See, people aren't as outraged about it right now because it's divorce. I mean, it's fucked up and it's weird, but it's just not getting national coverage. Go ahead, deny a black, and, a, a black, per, a black person and a white person a marriage. And make the same argument. You know, it's not that I'm racist. I'm just saying, how? who are we to decide in the state? Go ask the feds. You know why this is beyond stupid? Here's the answer from the feds. Yeah, you have to do that. <laughs> Whether it's an interracial couple, or in this case, it's a divorce, they've already said, yeah, you have to do that. And if you ask them again, they go, yeah, do it. But see, and then, then what will guys like this do? They'll still refuse to do it. <laughs> like, oh, well, golly, I... I'm still not going to do it. All right, then just admit you're an idiot and you're a bigot, and that's what this all comes down to. Just admit it. Just say, I hate gay people, so I'm just going to throw a fucking fit over here, throw a tantrum like a baby, and hope that, you know, the country changes because ah, I'm so mad. Why can't I continue to discriminate against different segments of the population? It's so funny, but also depressing, when you see people who are convinced that they're like the next Martin Luther King or the next Rosa Parks, and meanwhile, they're the opposite. They're the people who, there's a great tweet, I wish I could give credit, I don't know who said it though, somebody else retweeted it on my line, um, where somebody spoke about how Kim Davis, the person who recently denied gay marriage again to a gay couple, even though she's mandated by the Supreme Court to do it, um, the tweet said, she thinks she's Rosa Parks, but what she really is, is the angry old white woman in the front of the bus, yelling at Rosa Parks to get to the back of the bus. That's true. That's just, that's absolutely correct. She is the equivalent of that person today. Today, what would that person be doing? They'd be saying, I'm still not going to let these gays get married. They need to know their place. Back then, they'd say, you know, these N-words need to know their place. Get to the back of the bus. I don't know how they've twisted it so much in their mind where they're convinced they're the good guys and the other side is the bad guys. Do, do you not have basic reasoning abilities, basic logical abilities to look into this and go, Oh, wait, I see the dynamic here. Discrimination against blacks, discrimination against gays. Got resolved, the, uh, the people who were pro-civil rights were right. Today, the people who are pro-LGBT rights are right. No! No! And then meanwhile, again, the irony is, Kim Davis was married uh, four times. They think they're taking a moral stand. Guys, you're pathetic. You're an embarrassment, not only to yourselves, not only to your states, but to the United States of America. 
If you're going to act like this, do yourself a favor, do us all a favor, voluntarily step down and find a job where you'll actually be willing to do your goddamn job.